Meanwhile, cleanup from Hurricane Irma, hard enough on everybody, right? But what about communities that were already vulnerable before the storm ever hit? An organization in Lake Worth is stepping in right now to help immigrant and struggling families recover. Our now's uh, Alana Quillen is out there live in Lake Worth to explain. Alana? Well, Shannon, the Holiday 2 mobile home park here in Lake Worth is filled with many struggling and immigrant families from Central America and the Caribbean. Luckily, their power came back on today, but as you can see, a lot of debris piled up right over there from their homes, which a lot of them are unlivable. Now, today, the Guatemala Maya Center is actually going door to door, gathering donations and helping these families. After Hurricane Irma ruined her roof, Eloida and her family are now sleeping on the floor. It affected us. The roof broke, it damaged our beds. Because of the hurricane, we also lost power and we had to suffer through the storm. The Guatemala native is one of several immigrant families at this mobile home park in Lake Worth, living in damaged homes. Hola, Candelaria. That's why the Guatemala Maya Center is going door to door, making sure everyone is okay. We're working with families to report um, this damage to FEMA, and we've been in contact with um, our city commissioners and county commissioners to see what they can do to help. Center Director Tim Gamwell told me these families were already struggling before the storm. Uh, some of the, the residents here um, are struggling to find work. They've been out of work since Irma hit. Um, in other cases, there are some families who um, are waiting, awaiting surgeries or on disability. Being um, not evicted but kicked out because your house is condemned is is almost a, a death sentence. He says some of his clients fear asking for help because they're even more afraid of immigration officials. That's why it makes me sad that because I'm not a resident, there won't be any help for me. A lot of the families we work with are undocumented and there's a lot of um, hesitance. A lot of families are, are scared to put their information out there. So we try to help them uh, go through the process and, and get them the help they need. As everyone continues clean up here, the center is asking for donations of food, water, diapers, clean bedding, mattresses, and even Home Depot gift cards because some of these families actually want to rebuild these homes themselves. You can drop off all of these donations at the Guatemala Maya Center. That address is on 430 North G Street in Lake Worth. Reporting live, I'm Alana Quillen for the Now South Florida.